This is just an update on my um, panther and where I'm at with it. Not very far by the looks. So, put a bit of um, dirt and mud splatters and what have you underneath of it. Put a um, filter over it. And um, I use these wilder um, matte oil paints. To um, fade in on the brown, the um, buff, and the green. So just to give it a go, see how it worked. Didn't come up too bad. So I've done a um, bit of a pin wash on it, some chipping, a bit of rust in the chipping, still a bit of um, mud on the back, and a bit on the front. So it's coming along okay, painted the tools and the wood block. So instead of wheels aren't coming up too bad, so I've got a bit of um, mud splatter on them. So I'm still going to do a bit of um, wet mud splatter or wet effects or haven't really quite decided yet. And then I've got these three here which I'm going to use, which is the um, light rust wash, the um, dark st uh, streaking grime, and the streaking rust effects. So I'll use a bit of that on the tank. So I'm going to have the tracks here, sort of in bits. So I've sort of um, started dirtying them up. I've got a uh, <coughs> track undercoat on there, then I put a bit of pigments and a bit of polished metal and then I've got a bit of chrome on the tracks just to make them shine to start with and then once I get them together and put them on the tank they'll sort of tone themselves down with some other bits I'm putting on there so hopefully they came out pretty good when they're finished yeah so that's where the tank is at the moment so I'm quite happy with where it is there just need a bit more work. Still got to put the um, build the tracks for the side bits there and rust them up, put them on. And the um, tow cables I haven't finished yet, so they'll be coming along sometime. Yeah. The drive sprockets. Bit hard to get it to focus. There we go. So I haven't put any mud or anything on those yet. And same with the tow cables. I haven't actually I've given them an undercoat and that's about it. And a um coat of the base colour. So um We'll work on them sometime when I've got five minutes spare. And the tiger hasn't sort of done much in the background there. It's just been sitting there while I've been doing this one. So I've had a few other things happening. And I've also updated my workbench area. So I've got my workbench storage and then my spray booth straight next to it. Some more storage and then my 3D printer. So it's all in one area now so it makes it a bit easier. A little paper through there because I was doing the mud splashing with the toothbrush and there's my paint stands that I've made as well okay so that's about it catch us later